Hey guys and welcome to my channel. Today we will be painting this coffee mug with of course some coffee in it and I did made my sketch on a, just a regular printing paper and now I will trace it to the watercolor paper using some tracing paper, some graphite paper and of course if you don't have a graphite paper you can just trace it using a window and I'm using a block of paper so I cannot really use the window but if you're using single sheet of paper of course you can just put it on your window and trace it. Also, you know, you probably already know I'm just repeating that all the time, but you know, I don't like to sketch really on my watercolor paper because it, it can get ruined. So I am using just a regular printing paper to make my sketch. I can just erase there as much as I want and not be worried about the fact that I could just rip or just damage my paper. And I had also hate those spots of eraser when eraser leaves some you know, dirty parts. I hate that on watercolor paper. It shows and it's it looks awful if you ask me. And after tracing my sketch, I just used a kneaded eraser, artist eraser, just to not really to lighten it because this paint this uh, painting will be quite saturated and dark and wouldn't be visible, but just to pick up the excess graphite. Afterwards, I privated the entire paper and then started to paint, but you know, it did, my paint of course did bleed outside the borders of my cup and also this little saucer, is it a saucer? I think it is, <laughs> I'm not really sure. And uh, that little plate and it did bleed out it I, I don't mind that it doesn't bother me but if you don't like that if you want clean edges don't prevent the entire paper but just the part where your cup and uh, that little plate is so i forgot to mention that there is actually a link down in the description box for free sketch that is on my website so go ahead look for it then download the sketch for yourself, trace it and well join in. I've used some turquoise blue and azure to paint in the first layer and I did quite light layer, not, or not too light but it is light. Then I added a little bit more of azure and painted in the left side of my cup because I want that part to look as though it is in shadow or the right part to look at as though the light is hitting on it so it is the lightest and then afterwards I also added a little bit of indigo to paint in even more on the left if the part that is even more in the shadow And just on the edge of the cup I've added even more indigo, even more saturated indigo because that part will actually be the darkest. I will later on add some neutral black also to make it quite dark. So well you know you'll see that. So for the plate also I did the same thing. I've painted the first layer using turquoise blue and azure then added a little bit more of azure to it to make it slightly darker and then on the left side added indigo to make that part the darkest looking though as it is in shadow and right now you can see that what i was talking about that the paint is going outside the borders of my uh, of that little cup is it a cup i think it's a cup mug yes that's a mug <laughs> not a cup but a mug so it was going outside the borders of my mug but as i said i'm not bothered with that i will use later on some white gouache so it won't probably be so visible but you know it, it won't be it won't have those perfectly clean lines and as i said if you want those clean lines don't do the provetting outside the borders of your mug then later on i'm painting that handle with also the same colors and i will be adding some parts a little bit of indigo to make it a little bit darker again looking though looking though as if they are in a shadow and i'm switching off between uh, larger and smaller round brushes because for a little more details and a little more precise work i do need slightly 
you know, smaller brush. And for larger work, larger washes, I am using a little bit larger brush. So right now I am using that neutral black to paint in the darkest parts of my mug that are on the left side and this time I did not pre-wet the paper but I'm just painting wet on wet on dry. So here you you should be careful because if you don't pre-wet the paper, the part where your mug is, you can easily you know be faced with the with one problem and that is your paint drying too fast and leaving some harsh edges so i advise you to be you know as fast as you can to avoid that from happening and when you make the border if you need a smaller brush like i did use a smaller round brush when you paint that border just go ahead use a little bit larger brush add a water in it and just smudge those edges because you know as i said we don't want harsh edges we want nice beautiful transitions just just have that in mind and being careful also i've added now on the middle part a little bit again of that mix of azure and turquoise blue and just left the left the right side i'm sorry i'm having trouble with the sides you know maybe you've noticed in my videos that sometimes they say left but it's actually right and i'm saying right but it's actually left so i just want you to know that you know i do have a problem with that and probably there will be times i'm really really careful and i'm really thinking about it but you know there probably will be times that i will say left and i meant right and you know other way around so just have that in mind you know you can see where it is you know <laughs> you can always see i'm not i'm not saying and you know it's just you're thinking what she's saying so you know just keep that in mind yeah i do have a problem with that left right my husband always says to me you know how can you how can you make that mistake so much there's just 50 50 chances you know how can you almost every time say the wrong thing i don't know i guess I think that left is right and right is left. And what can I say? What can I say? I have a problem with that. But you know, I'm not really bothered. We're just we're just joking with that. So right now I'm also adding a little bit of that neutral black, that dark, dark color for the darkest shadows. So just bear with me and keep in mind, watch where I put those shadows and you know, the light is hitting from slightly above and on the right side so those parts are lightest and well the left sides are the darkest the inside of that plate so little saucer i'm painting in with again those mix of azure and turquoise blue and you know in that part just near to the cup to the mug i will also add neutral black because i do want that part to be slightly darkest because it, the mug is casting shadow on it so the right side of the plate will be a little bit lighter than the left side of it now i've added just a little bit of sepia into that mix of blues and just painting in the upper edge of my mug and also the edge of the plate just adding making those you know not making it off white slightly off white because it, that part is actually white but on the painting especially when there are some uh, shadows it does look a little bit of white and just the edge again i'm painting a little bit darker i will be as i said earlier adding a little bit of white gouache making it lighter in some places there you go you can see right now i'm just picking up some white gouache with a detail brush and adding it on the edge of my mug on the top or edge of the mug and also i will be adding on the edge of the plate and on some other places where i think 
the light is hitting the most and that are actually reflecting that light. So there you go, now that we've used that white gouache, our line seems a little bit more neater, not so, you know, not there are not, not any paint bleeding into them anymore because we've covered it with white gouache, but still they're not perfectly neat. You can see that there are some bleeds outside the borders. And as I said earlier, if that bothers you, just don't prevent the entire paper. But you know, actually I like that. I like that it's not so perfect and it, that it goes a little bit outside the borders. And probably if you've seen any previous my videos, when I was painting also some coffee or painting some fruit or something like that, I've always went with a with a light wash of paint outside the borders of my subject, whatever it is, because I actually do like it. I do like it a little bit outside the border. It just gives me, you know, a little bit of edginess and it's not so sharp and so perfect because I don't really like to paint very realistically every painting I do. Maybe it is somewhat realistic, but I do like to put my stamp on it and I do like to make it slightly looser, you know, at least a little bit looking like slightly looser. So right now I've turned around my paper and added a little bit of Mars Brown and then on top of it a little bit of sepia, just on the top of the nearest to the edge of my uh, edge of my mug and then use the spray bottle this is just a deo deodor deodorant spray bottle and sprayed some paint because I did want it to bleed and as I said earlier look like there is some steam going outside the outside the cup and then at just at the very bottom again I'm adding a little bit more of that sepia just to make an impression that there is some coffee and also adding a little bit of Mars Brown and some sprinkles of Mars Brown and then spraying it again with water. I'm also slightly tilting my paper because I want the, that water, that paint to bleed upwards. And as you can see, I'm also turning it here and there on one side, on the other side, just to make that paint go here and there. And again, I did not prevent the paper. I've just used that spray bottle to spread the paint on my paper. Also, I've added it on the other side and when it dried completely, I added a little bit more of the sprinkles in a Mars Brown and also a little bit more in sepia. At the end, I did a couple of more details with white gouache and also made the part where the table is a little bit shadow on it. You know, I'm not really sure that it's a shadow. Maybe it's not really a shadow, but just, you know, some something to look as though that cup, that mug isn't floating in the air, but is sitting on something. And well, with that, I'll be finishing off my painting and of course this video. Thank you guys a lot for watching. I hope you like it. And if you do, please hit the like button, share it, comment. And if you haven't still, please subscribe to my channel. It would really mean a lot to me. And without further ado, I hope I'll see you next time. Bye.